tutorial will discuss the historical trends mechanism, how to record a historical trend in proprietary archive unit, and how to display a historical trend. PCView can record bit and register variables to be displayed as a trend. To be recorded, the variable must be declared as an archive unit. There are two ways to declare a variable as a trend. The first one is to add the variable from the section Trend under the Archive unit. Double click on Trends and click the icon to add a new variable. You can select the variable from the Variable Selector and here we will select the Time variable. It is possible to define a specific bit to inhibit the record of the variable depending on the value of the bit and it is also possible to define a filtering period. Let's discuss how this works. The value of the variable is recorded only if it changes during the filtering period, and the most recent value is recorded along with the time at the end of the period. For example here, the filtering period is equal to 10 seconds. At 10 seconds, PCV records the value 2. At the next period, 20 seconds, the value is still equal to 2, but the value is not recorded. If the value changes at the next period, it will then be recorded, and so on. It's important to note that with the proprietary archive system, the filtering period is not a sampling period, and it's not possible to record a point periodically. By default, the filtering period is equal to 0, and the value of the variable will be recorded each time it changes. As you can see, Different advanced tabs exist and will be discussed in an advanced tutorial. So our first variable as a trend has been created. Now we're going to add another variable as a trend. And for example, we will add the bit on off. There is also another way to create a trend. From the variable section within the variable tree, select the variable to be added as a trend. Then select from the bottom menu the archive unit you want the trend to add. Here we select My Archives. We left the default values and we validate. The variable is now defined as a trend and is in the Archive unit My Archives. And as a result, the variable has been created as a trend in the Archives section of My Archives unit as shown. The variables we just defined as trends are now being recorded and obviously we'd like to be able to display them. The Trend Viewer is exactly what we need. It's a specific tool which displays up to eight variables as trends either in real-time or historical mode. Switch to Design Mode, and you can insert a Trend Viewer from the Insert menu. It's also possible to insert different Trend Viewers in the same screen and in the same project. As you can see, the Trend Viewer has many properties covered in a specific tutorial. And we're going to see here the way it used to display the historical trends. First, we select the variable to be displayed. We select the variable on, off, and the variable time. For this variable, we select this type, and we display the value up to 100. We will add some items to the legend, such as the visibility and scale, and the name of the variable, the real-time value, and the cursor value. We enable the legend and the time information as we'd like to display the historical values we set the start mode historical. You can resize and move the trend viewer anywhere in your mimic just as any other object in PC view. Let's switch into runtime and click on the historic button to select the period for the values to be displayed. Click Apply to request the value, and then click OK to go back to the display. And here it is. The recorded values are now displayed. You can even zoom a part of the display. So let's click on the Zoom button here and select the area you would like to zoom. And if you want, you can display the scale with those buttons from the legend. 
and you can even use the cursor button to see a specific value on the curve. And thank you for joining PCView Solutions Tutorials.